Making your own baby food may seem like a daunting task, but it's much easier than you may think and far less expensive than buying the pre-made kind. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few simple baby food recipes and storage tips. So depending on what fruits and vegetables you've selected, you'll determine your cooking method. I've selected a sweet potato, carrots, avocado, and apples. With an avocado, I'll just simply mash it, but with the apple, carrots, and sweet potato, you'll need to peel and cook until soft. This can be done by either baking, boiling, steaming, or in the microwave. Once the fruits and veggies are cooked and peeled, you'll place them in a food processor or blender separately. Add water as you blend to achieve a smooth consistency. You can store the baby food in the refrigerator for up to two to three days. However, for longer storage, place them in the freezer and they'll stay good for six to eight months. I like to use ice cube trays and once they're frozen, I place them into freezer storage bags. Each cube is about a one ounce portion of food. These make great on the go meals. Just grab a couple cubes on your way out the door and let them thaw until you're ready to eat. So that was easy. Whether you're a first time mom, uncle, or grandparent, I hope you enjoy making homemade baby food for the little one in your life.